Hello, this is Dr. Karthik from MedLife. Uh, today we will actually uh, talk a little bit about the liver function test. <clears throat> As all of us know, liver is another very important organ of the body. Uh, you can call it as a master processor. So like how brain controls all the functions when it comes to controlling metabolism of the human body, liver plays a key critical role. So therefore maintaining good health of the liver is extremely important. So what are the functions, main functions of the liver? <clears throat> the first thing is it processes the food that is coming in the blood after it is absorbed from our digestive system, right? So it stores glucose, it stores fat, it removes certain processes and removes certain toxins from our food which are actually coming in through the blood uh, digestive system, through the blood tract and most importantly it helps in fat metabolism. Most of us would have heard of something called as stone in the liver or stone in the gallbladder. So gallbladder is a small pouch which lies beneath the liver and liver produces a very important uh, digestive juice called as bile. And this bile juice is actually secreted and stored in this uh, gallbladder. Now, if there is an abnormality in the normal flow of the bile through the gallbladder, the bile can get stuck and it can actually get converted into stone. And that's what we call as gallbladder stones, which can cause a lot of pain, fever, and sometimes it may have to be surgically removed. The gallbladder may have to be removed together with the stones as well. So therefore, liver is very important for metabolism, for fat digestion, for good processing of the food, for storage and metabolism of glucose, and also for storage and metabolism of protein and fat. Liver disease or liver dysfunction and diabetes are interconnected. So it is very important that if a patient has got abnormal liver the disease, the patient may also have diabetes, the patient may also have high cholesterol and also high blood pressure. So therefore it is very important to monitor the liver function regularly. Now what are the things a doctor would advise uh, when it comes to a liver function test? So first the doctor would advise uh, a blood test which measures some of the normal parameters which look at the liver function. So one, they will look at something called bilirubin. So if the liver actually is functioning abnormally, you will see that the level of bilirubin in the blood goes up. So how do we know that the level of the bilirubin goes up? Many a times when you look at the skin bed, the skin bed has to be pink. So you will see that there is yellowness here. You look at the white of the eye, some, of, some people develop uh, a yellow discoloration of the sclera or the white of the eye. Many of you would have heard of this uh, term called jaundice. Jaundice is a condition where the liver function goes down, bilirubin or the yellow pigment color in the blood goes up. So the nail beds become yellow, the white of the eye, the sclera becomes yellow and in fair people even the skin becomes, turns yellow, right? So therefore uh, bilirubin going up is one of the indicators of liver dysfunction. Liver also plays an important function in regulating hormonal, normal hormone levels uh, in the human body. So when the liver function is disrupted, so you will see that hormonal imbalance occurs in the body as well. The third important aspect in addition to bilirubin and normal hormone balance maintenance in the body, liver also plays a very important role in the clotting of blood. So if there is an abnormal function of the liver, you will see that the patient may also have abnormal clotting, which means the blood may tend to bleed for longer. Clotting may actually get delayed, which is also a indication of liver disease. Uh, liver function can be disrupted significantly in people that consume a lot of alcohol. As all of you know, alcohol directly impacts uh, liver function. So patients that consume a lot of alcohol, patients that consume a lot of fatty food develop something called as fatty liver disease, which is the precursor to developing a long-term kidney disease or cirrhosis. It is very important that we should avoid a condition like cirrhosis because in cirrhosis, liver becomes hard and the function, it almost stops to function completely. So such patients with uh, serious end stage cirrhosis, the only answer is that they should wait for a liver transplant and they have to wait for uh, you know a patient to or a person to donate a part of their liver to survive so therefore it's this is a very avoidable situation so if the patient consumes alcohol in moderation or reduces the consumption of alcohol patient maintains normal levels of blood sugar and normal levels of blood fat or fatty acids as we call it as and the patient exercises regularly 
patient reduces the fat intake and reduces the fatty liver condition patient will be able to maintain a good and a healthy liver function hope you like this video so follow us on uh, facebook and uh, look forward to more such facebook videos coming your way